What's up guys? Jeff Easterling here from 343 Industries, uh, but we're nowhere near Seattle. We're actually down just outside of Atlanta here at Blue Whale Studios to give you guys an inside look at some of the initial behind the scenes development of Halo Outpost Discovery. We've got a lot of cool stuff to show you guys. Let's get started. So this right here is, we are in uh, what they affectionately call the lab. Uh, and let me tell you, there is some awesome stuff going on. Uh, and I can't wait to show you guys. Let's check some of it out. It wouldn't be a celebration of Halo without including our favorite green guy in armor. That's the Master Chief. Now this might not be the most iconic pose or perspective of our hero. But then again, he's also not green yet. This thing is going to be a life-size statue that you can visit at Outpost Discovery. It's, it's ridiculous. Like, makes you feel like a kid or a short person, of which I am kind of both. If you ever want to feel shorter than normal, just place yourself beside a statue of the Master Chief and realize that your face comes up to his waist. As my attire probably belies, uh, this is maybe my favorite part of this whole entire thing. Well, not just Matt, he's one of my favorite parts as well, but I specifically mean this full-size elite statue that we're gonna have. I think what's cool is like looking at all of the reference shots as well, from looking at the morphology that we use in the games, uh, both from like in-game, but also from cinematics, and then turning that into 3D, using not only 3D printing, but also more traditional styles uh, of just even just sculpting like with clay to get something that feels a little bit more organic than just a three standard 3D print. Just seeing the head, like, and then imagining the rest of the body, I can't wait, it's gonna be awesome. So we just saw the head of the Elite. Joan over here is working on the hand. And we've just built up the forms um, so you you know you get this really kind of fun, creepy, it is giant it's hand. It looks and then su we, like super organic. And that was kind of our approach. Is like we have all this really hard technical armor, yeah. And then we wanted this really kind of you know reptilian organic skin. Now, I don't know about you, but this is a lot scarier than I remember it being in the game. Like looking at. Make sure you get out there and, and check out the work that, uh, that these guys are doing. Thank you guys for hanging out and watching, and we'll be showing you uh, some more stuff very soon.